Hi, this is Bill Wickstrom. We're talking about pop music, and this is the Vinyl Views segment. Hot Rod Dance Party by Jerry Cole and Spaceman. Jerry Cole was an in-demand session musician from the 1960s Los Angeles, California scene. He was a member of what was subsequently dubbed the Wrecking Crew. He played on Phil Spector's hit records and the Beach Boys' Pet Sounds and Smile albums. He was the band leader on the 60s variety shows Shindig and Hullabaloo. He was inducted into the Rockabilly Hall of Fame and the Capitol Records' Legendary Performer Hall of Fame. He also worked with Little Richard, Elvis Presley, Isaac Hayes, Paul Revere and the Raiders, and Frank Sinatra, just to name a few. He also had a band of his own, The Spacemen, who performed regularly on the Sunset Strip and released a trio of albums on Capitol Records in 1963 and 1964. The final release of these albums, Hot Rod Dance Party, is produced by Jim Economides, who also produced Dick Dale and his Deltones, and was originally released in 1964 by Capitol Records. At the time, Capitol was producing surf rock albums by the dozens, either by actual surf rock bands or studio-created bands such as the Superstocks, the Kickstands, and the Ghouls. Music with a driving beat that will put any party on wheels is the, the copy on the very cover. Hot Rod Dance Party is a horn-driven, classic reverb-drenched guitar instrumental album and is very danceable in a swinging, twisting, old-school guitar-based way. It's hot rod music slash surf pop. Although hot rod music is really just surf rock with lyrics about cars and racing as opposed to waves and surfing. There aren't any particular standout tracks, truth be told. The material is sometimes bachelor pad infused with hints of tiki exotica and lounge with great guitar lines courtesy of Mr. Cole. At times the material falls into a sort of generic surf pop realm that really isn't made anymore. That being said, the recording itself is very nice and so unmistakably Americana of the mid 60s as well. And if you're a fan of surf rock guitar playing, you'll probably love this record. One can only imagine how the surf pop vocals of the Beach Boys or Jan and Dean on top of these instrumental tracks would have potentially elevated it commercially. This is what the vinyl looks like. It's uh, on marble vinyl, clear marble vinyl, I guess you'd say. And it's got a nice little jazzy label too. It was reissued in a limited pressing of only 1,000 copies in 2010 by the fantastic reissue label Sunday's Music, based out of the Catskills in New York. Sunday's has long since taken the mantle from Rhino Records as being the greatest vinyl reissue slash authentically vintage label currently in existence. I suggest picking it up. That's Vinyl Views for this week.